everybody video here for you today and yes that was an intro to my videos i want to thank my special friend julie for making that for me she is the one who inspired my channel almost 10 years ago i mentioned her during my live chat last weekend and i might have another live chat coming up this weekend why not but let's talk about a site down here in cyprus that really goes along with all these other sites in the area that go back eight nine ten twelve thousand years but it's right in the southern part of Cyprus and it just opens up some questions it's called Calabasas Tenta and it's right down here here is the site today it's kind of up on a hill it has a conical tent like enclosure to protect it from the elements I would assume right nearby right down here there is I guess some Bronze Age ruins right in this area, right down here. Can't see too much on Google Earth, but this place, Calavasos Tentos, as it is called, this site goes back 9,000 years in history. Here is a look at some of the ruins. Circular enclosures, pretty impressive stonework for going back 9,000 years in history. I will leave some websites below, but here is some basic information. The Neolithic Age settlement at Tenta is situated a short distance from Calabasas village and dates to 7,000 BC. It is one of the most significant Neolithic settlements on the island and is covered by a characteristic cone-shaped roof, which forms a contemporary architectural intervention in the landscape. According to local tradition, the name of the site goes back to 327, A.D. when St. Helen, the mother of Constantine the Great, stayed in a tent or a tenta in this location during her visit to the island following a visit to Jerusalem when she was looking for holy relics. Here is a website I will leave below. It kind of has a three-dimensional interactive model of the ruins here. But what really caught my eye is how much these look like the ruins around the Gobekli Tepe area around turkey that go back 12,000 years some of them there are ruins on this island that go back at least 9,000 years how did people get here was there a land bridge up in this area before sea level rise that connected it to the mainland or were people sailing here over 10,000 years ago that is the question i ask now when i was snooping around last night here is an article i found from october 2020 maritime narratives of prehistoric cyprus seafaring as everyday practice i will just show a few pics here from this article while i read just the first paragraph here it says this paper considers the role of seafaring as an important aspect of everyday life in the communities of prehistoric cyprus the maritime capabilities developed by early seafarers enabled them to explore new lands and seas tap new marine resources and make use of accessible coastal sites over the long term, the core activities of seafaring revolved around the exploitation of marine and coastal resources, the mobility of people and the transport and exchange of goods. On Cyprus, although we lack direct material evidence, shipwrecks and ship representations, before about 2000 BC, there is no question that beginning by at least the 11th millennium BC, early seafarers sailed between the nearby mainland of Cyprus in all likelihood several times per year. In the long stretch of time, some 4,000 years, roughly from 6,800 years ago to 2,700 years ago, most archaeologists passively accept the notion that the inhabitants of Cyprus turned their backs to the sea. In contrast, this study entertains the likelihood that Cyprus was never truly isolated from the sea and considers maritime related materials and practices during each era from the 11th to early second millennium bc so they think they were sailing here over 12,000 years ago in concluding i present a broader picture of everything from rural anchorages to the invisible maritime behaviors that may help us better understand the seafaring as an everyday practice on cyprus and here are some very ancient ruins right on the seashore Here's a look at a scan from the Mazotos shipwreck coming from about 2,400 years ago. So relatively recently when you look at the whole scope of time. But there is a look at some pottery vessels and other things laying at the bottom of the sea off the coast of Cyprus. Here are some more looks at Calavasos Tentos, the archaeological area here. 
where they have unearthed these stone walls and circular enclosures. This site was discovered in 1940, 1947, a little bit of archaeological work went on. Here, I believe this is a reconstructed house at the site. But starting maybe 1976, they really started working on this place and excavating it and getting down to the dates and everything. Here is another look at the site, the stone walls and then these circular enclosures. It looks like these are made with individual mud bricks, as they are called in the article. There was 14 graves found here, as many as 18 people found in each. There were some burials found under the individual dwellings, the floors in the dwellings, and there were some found out in open areas. But pretty interesting here, history going back 9,000 years. Here are some artifacts that were found. This picture is a little blurry, but you can kind of get an idea of the faces here. This looks like something you would have found up at Gobekli Tepe or coming from the Natufians or the Chalcolithic period coming from the mainland. Here is another look at the site that goes back 9,000 years. This is on a hill that's about 20 meters tall. So have they gotten down to the earliest occupation of this site? Well, that is something I wonder. I will leave this article below, but here are some of the Bronze Age ruins found right nearby. Here they are. I guess the site is kind of neglected, but it comes from this article here, one for the road, where they talk about the archaeological sites in this immediate area here. Also in this area, there is a 9,000-year-old sediment called Kilmanos right on this hill here. Here is a diagram of that site. A foundation trench was found here, earthen wall, firebed, fireplace, pit, deposit of remarkable objects, plaster, mosaic hole, oblong, peripheral pit. But this place was found 10 miles away and probably connected. Here is an overhead look at Calavasos Tenta before the enclosure was put on it, but I was just struck how much of this looks like these sites around Gobekli Tepe that go back 12,000 years and I wonder how much stuff is still left under this mound here that they have yet to find but this place definitely looks like the places in Syria that are underwater today and the places around Gobekli Tepe that are 12,000 years old and it doesn't seem like the sea interfered with these people's migration whatsoever but that'll wrap up my video on Calabasas Tenta on the island of Cyprus. Ruins going back minimum 9,000 years. Who knows if there is ruins to be found beneath these. I just thought this was a very interesting site to talk about. But you can visit it here today. They seem to have this pretty well preserved. I wonder if any of my subs have been here or visited archaeological sites on Cyprus. Cyprus is a place I have not covered too extensively. But that is certainly an interesting site if it goes back minimum 9,000 years. Has ruins that look like other sites around Gobekli Tepe in this area. But they seem to be connected. The way the ruins look, the way the artifacts look, doesn't seem like the sea interfered with migration. That was an interesting one to do for sure. Hope you thought that was interesting and you all have a very nice day.